So if you've got a PC that's got Linux on it and you want to switch to Windows, you might want to check whether it's got a Windows product key before going ahead and installing Windows. So in this video, I'm going to instruct in, in doing this. So I'm going to open up the terminal and I'm going to type in sudo, which is an abbreviation for super user do. And then I'm going to type in DMI decode. And because I've typed in sudo super user do, I need to authenticate this by inputting my password. So this will give you some details about the PC. So it's going to give you the SM BIOS version. So the system management BIOS will never change for your system and reflects the capabilities of the motherboard during manufacture. So a SM BIOS version of 3.0 or higher corresponds to a modern UFI BIOS. You'll also see the BIOS version and the vendor. And then below you'll see the, the product name and serial number. So you'll be able to check with your computer manufacturer's website for the latest BIOS version. If you've got a SM BIOS version of 3.0 or higher, you can download the BIOS update, save it to a USB flash drive, and then power up the system by pressing F12 to get to the boot menu. You can then update the, the UFI BIOS to the latest version. Systems with a SM BIOS version of 2.8 to 2.9 have an early UFI BIOS. So the early UFI BIOS has an early implementation of Secure Boot, which now has a security vulnerability that will never be patched because the chip manufacturers have stopped supporting these systems. So the models that came with Windows 8 OEM or later have an embedded product key. Earlier models that came with Windows 7 may not have an embedded product key, but later Windows 7 models will have a OEM embedded product key because they actually came with a Windows 8 Pro OEM license and this was used for downgrade rights. Okay, so what we're going to have a look at is the file explorer. We want to select upper locations and go to root and then we want to select sys and then firmware and then ACPI and then tables. So this system has a modern UFI bias, so naturally has a UFI table and a TPM2 table. And it also came with an OEM license, so it has an MSDM table and it also had downgrade rights, so it has a slick table. Okay, so what I want to do now is view these tables in the terminal. So I'm going to right click and select open in terminal. And I need to use the strings command. And if it's not installed, it's going to give instructions on how to install the binary utilities. So I'm going to follow these instructions. And now I'm going to type in strings msdm. So I get this permission denied because I'm in a folder that's not within the home directory. I need to type in sudo. So this is super user two, strings, and then msdm. You can view more details using the ACPI dump. So if you type in this command and are told that, that it can't be found, you'll need to follow the instructions to install it. So once it's installed, you can type in ACPI dump, followed by the name of the file to, to view more details in the terminal. You'll need to prefix this with sudo because it's in, in a location that's not within the home folder. So to the left-hand side, you're going to see hexadecimal notation in binary and to the right hand side, you're going to see the corresponding Unicode string. And as I said before, you're probably only going to be interested in this 25 digit product key. And this 25 digit product key is going to be automatically input by Windows 10 or Windows 11 installation media.